Hi, my name is Prof from Faculty of Chemical and Mechanical Engineering at Kwame Nkrumah University of Science and Technology. In this video, I will demonstrate a typical simple machine question that is screws in engineering mechanics problem. So, if this is your first time watching my video, please go to the subscription button and subscribe. Thank you. So, on this video, uh, we're going to learn how to solve questions with screws. So, let's check the question. They said, the square threaded screw of the clamp has a mean diameter of 14 millimeters and a lead of 6 millimeters. If the coefficient of static friction is 0 0.2 for the threads, and the torque applied to the handle is 1.5 newton meters. Determine the compressive force F on the block. So what this question is asking us to do is to determine the compressive force on this block. But first, when dealing with question like this, you need to put down the main data, that is the important things in the question. So let's check. Now, we have the lead. So let's check. The lead was given to us that is 6 millimeters. So this is 6 millimeters, and you can convert it into, it's advisable to convert all you need to meters. That is 6 times 10 is only negative 3 meters. That is for the lead. So the lead is 6.3. It's here. This is the lead. Now we have the thread diameter which is 14. So the thread diameter is 14. And we try converting it to meters. And also we have, so the thread diameter, you can find the radius by dividing the diameter into two to get seven. And also you convert it to meters. From there, we have the torque applied at the handle. So we have the torque applied at the handle to be 1.5 Newton meters. And also we have the coefficient of static friction to be 0 0.2. So now we have all our data to solve the question. That is, we have one data, two, three, four, five. So now, before we handle this question, I want us to take a key note of certain equations when solving questions such as this. So now we have important equation to know so important equations to know the first one is this so this is a special equation which is related to simple machines on screw so we have theta is equal to tan inverse of l over pi d now i'm going to explain the meaning of the letter so theta usually represents the lead angle also called the helix angle or the angle of inclination so which is equal to tan inverse of l L is the lead. And when we talk about the lead, is the distance through which the stress advances in one thing. So that's the lead. And also we have pi. And the pi, when we talk about the pi, already you know the pi value, which is 3.14159265454. It's an irrational amount. It, it's very far. It's an infinite. And also we have the diameter of the thread. So this is the first equation to note, to find the helix angle or the thread angle. The second one is phi is equal to tan inverse of the coefficient of static friction. Now phi represents the friction angle. The friction angle, yes, it represents the friction angle. We'll talk about the friction angle soon. The next equation to know is P is equal to W tan bracket open the angle of the helix angle plus the friction angle so let's explain the value uh, the letters p represent the effort w represent the load and also we have movement which is equal to the effort times the radius of the thread and which is also equal to this because p is there so you can substitute p into the movement equation and get that so let's set the ball rolling so now with this question we are asked to find the compressive force on the block 
But first, you need to find the helix angle and the friction angle. How do you do that? So since we have our data, we can use it to find both the helix angle and the friction angle. So with the helix angle or the lead angle, you know that that's the stand inverse of the lead over pi times the diameter of the thread. And we had 7.7680 degrees. So that is the lead angle. As simple as that. Let's try the friction angle. So the friction angle, that is the fan inverse of the coefficient of static friction, which is 0 0.2, and we'll get 11.30 degree. But note this. This is not part of the question, but I want you to note this. If the friction angle is larger than the lead angle, the screw is said to be self-locking. So this screw is self-locking. It is self-locking. Let's continue. So now we have the helix angle because you need to find this because it will assist you when finding the compressive force. Now, we, with the compressive force, we know that we have the, uh, the torque applied at the handle, which is 1.5 Newton meter, and we have the radius of the thread, so we can find the effort, which will give you 1.5 Newton meter is equal to P times the radius. And that will give you P to be equal to 214.285 Newton. So after getting the effort, what you want is the compressive force, which is the W. So you try doing substitution, and putting the values inside. So we have the effort, we have the W, and we have the helix angle and the friction angle. So when you do that the correct way, you're going to get the compressive force to be 619.5 Newton. Now, what I want you to know again is note these equations, this one, two, three, four equation that will assist you to solve questions like this. Thank you very much for watching this video. Um, please subscribe to my channel.